Good morning everyone, Meissner here again. This time is a, a little trip video and a problem solving video. <laughs> because uh, right now I'm at uh, Tartu and uh, I have to travel to Tallinn, what is in the other side of the Estonia. That's why, because uh, I am uh, going to Tallinn that, uh, to get the airbag light uh, removed. When I bought the Calibra, it had a sports steering wheel without an airbag and the airbag bulb uh, was taken out. Uh, so when I put the airbag uh, bulb back in and uh, put the original steering wheel on, the light is still on. But uh, why I'm driving to Tallinn, uh, Tartu is a big city, but uh, in Tartu dealership I called and uh, they said uh, they don't have the Tech One uh, device anymore. And uh, in Tallinn, there should be one, uh, there is one uh, in uh, Tallinn, but uh, they are not sure if it works. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, uh, maybe I can uh, get the airbag light removed. And also, I'm uh, trying to make the Tallinn trip an uh, eco trip. So, let's see, when I change the fuel tank valve uh, flap, uh, after that, the uh, fuel economy went down, but uh, I want to see how much uh, is the minimum uh, average uh, consum consumption uh, when I get back to Tartu. When I get back, there should be over 400 kilometers, because uh, one trip to Tallinn is 180 something kilometers, but we have to drive uh, through Tallinn and uh, Let's see what uh, good sightings are there also, and uh, my son is uh, coming uh, with me also. He's uh, filming right now, he's a little operator. <laughs> but uh, let's see where it goes. First, I have to go to the gas station. I will uh, fill up the tank and uh, let's see how much the fuel is uh, lost uh, when I get back. So let's go to the fuel tank. So the fuel tank is full. Uh, now I will. Uh, I will uh, clear the average consumption. Right now the average consumption is uh, 7.9, but uh, I want to get as low as possible. Now it's cleared. The range is 831 kilometers. Pretty good uh, for a 2.5 uh, liter Calibra. And uh, like I said, the airbag light is on. And uh, now let's uh, head to Tallinn and uh, let's see how the drive goes. So it's been uh, 95 kilometers behind us already. And uh, right now it's almost the same way to drive uh, also. But uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the questions, uh, what uh, people are asking me. Uh, where is the bike content? Uh, um, how can I say the bike is in, in a <laughs> summer hibernation? Because uh, right now uh, I haven't driven the bike almost two months because uh, there's still the problem uh, with the first uh, first cylinder problem. Uh, I don't know, is it injector or something? And uh, I haven't got the time uh, to get it uh, fixed or something. But uh, next uh, month, in September, uh, I already called my friend that uh, he will uh, take the bike in and uh, start looking what's the problem. I hope it's uh, just the injectors are dirty or something, I don't know. But uh, I wish 
it's a easy problem, not uh, some uh, mechanical problem inside the engine. And uh, the weather today is uh, not <laughs> very good for us. It's uh, raining. Uh, it's been raining uh, almost the uh, entire the entire way. And uh, we looked the uh, weather cast in uh, Tallinn. It's raining there also. So. <laughs> There's uh, no sun today. It's uh, like uh, England weather. Uh, it's uh, raining all the time. Uh, only a few rainy, uh, sunny days. But uh, right now we are uh, heading on, and uh, let's uh, hope uh, the weather changes and uh, we can get some uh, beautiful shots from it. Bad news about the diagnostics. I went to the <laughs> the local dealership in Tallinn, and uh, they have the Check One uh, device, but uh, it won't connect uh, with the airbag. Uh, others, uh, immobilizer and other the engine and everything uh, will be connected, but uh, not this one. And uh, they said that there must be a communication problem with it, and. Uh, uh, now it's time to search out the schemes and uh, look uh, where the problem is and uh, start uh, making the solution. But uh, right now we came uh, to the T1 mall, uh, what is uh, in the center of Tallinn. Now we're going to the Ferris wheel, what is uh, on top of the mall of Tallinn. And uh, it should be 120 meters above the sea level. So let's go on and uh, come with me. Like you see, we wanted to have a little <laughs> fun also, and uh, we are at the top of the T1 mall in Tallinn, and uh, we are riding with a Ferris wheel. 
we are 120 meters uh, above from the sea, what, sea level. And uh, oh yeah, uh, we are enjoying the view. Uh, like you saw, the car problem solving wasn't very good. And uh, I have to get my friend to search uh, what's the problem. With, there was a communication with the uh, G1, uh, we take one and the uh, airbag, uh, airbag uh, module, and uh, the technician said that uh, there may be a communication problem. So my friends, friend, had to find out the schemes. If you know uh, where to find the schemes uh, for the Calibra's uh, electrician uh, wires and the airbag module, then uh, drop me a link or in the comments and uh, we are enjoying the view and afterwards we're going to have something to eat and uh, just enjoying the enjoying the day as much as we can We picked up some food from KFC because uh, the, on the Ulamiste center there were so long lines, so <laughs> KFC was the uh, shortest. But uh, now we picked up some food and uh, we're heading back to Tartu. We have uh, 200 kilometers approximately to drive. So we made it to Tartu and uh, one problem uh, came uh, on also, uh, engine light came on and uh, I know what's the problem, the lambda sensor needs to be replaced, but I got the new Bosch uh, sensor bot and uh, I need to buy, change it. And the uh, summary for this uh, eco challenge is uh, like you see, uh, 6.1 kilometers. Uh, per 100 kilometers and uh, totally I drove over 400 kilometers here it shows 366 but uh, I put it uh, to zero after driven already over 30 kilometers but uh, if you like this content hit like hit subscribe and uh, if you hit like uh, that will help my channel grow uh, very fast but uh, See you soon on the next video and like, subscribe and let's go, bye!